Now it is grand finale day for our Me, Myself and Oasis vlogging finalists and for their final challenge, the girls flew to London to vlog at the Oasis press day. Now before we speak to them both, let's see how it went, starting with Anya. Take a look. Now I'm checking for cheaters. People are wearing makeup because it is five AM girls, look at the state of us. Oh, you look good. <laughs> I have no makeup on. I got a spray tan last night, trying to hide the bags under my eyes, but no makeup on, just a bit of mascara this morning and out the door, I was gone. It's a big day for us guys. We are heading over to London to hopefully, you know, win this. This yeah. is the vlogger competition for Oasis. Are you excited? I am so excited. I didn't sleep a wink last night waiting for today, so I just can't wait. Listen, I know you guys want to do a quick vlog before we head off, so yeah. I'll leave you guys too, and I need to put to some go. makeup on, seriously. And so it was time to jump on a jet plane and hit London, where the hustle and bustle of the Oasis press day by only 11 a.m. had certainly got underway. The task at hand was for the girls to document the latest spring summer collection from the brand and comment on what they thought. First up was Anya, who chatted to Judge Ian Galvin about his role with Oasis and what were the emerging trends for next season. She also decided to take a Martin Scorsese approach to her filmmaking angles to keep her vlogs interesting for the viewers. What I want to do with my vlog is I want to get my personality across with Oasis and kind of show then in my vlog how the two brands are going to go together. So I guess what I'm looking at is the theme and also tying it in with the collection and then a bit of myself as well. So I've seen you down on your hunkers, you know, you're, you're making different angles and shapes. You, you want this to be exciting for, for the people that are going to be looking at this. Exactly. Exactly, because I think the pieces are just so amazing and because obviously everyone looking at home isn't getting to be here, so you have to show them on camera what it's really like. So I'm trying to get the best angles of all the coasts. So while Owen got back to work, I nabbed Ian Galvin to see how he thought they were both doing. It was interesting when I came in because I saw the two girls with the cameras going around and I was like, oh my God, who are they? <laughs> so like, because like, oh, everybody else is doing it. Yeah, no, because yeah. everybody else is doing it. But it's really interesting watching them adapt and seeing how, what they pick out and how they approach it. Mm -hmm. And now, I mean, this is their experience now and this is what they can add to their vlogging portfolios so yeah it's it's good next we moved over to the brand new oasis concept store on tottenham court road where the girls got pampered and preened in their hair and nail salon in store plus a cheeky cocktail for the road in their restaurant plus of course tons more clothes to pour over but this time it's the latest autumn winter collection that's in stores now Anya was back blogging after being fed, watered and preened. So what were her thoughts on this new one-of-a-kind concept store where you can have a little or and or while shopping if it just gets too much? I mean, you know, you come on a Saturday, you'd have your bit of lunch, you do some browsing, go up and get the hair and nails done and then you're straight back down more shopping again. So more definitely. shopping again. Now, very different collection to what we saw earlier today. So obviously we're into our burgundies, our jumpers, everything yeah. that we need for the festive season. Here. Very autumn winter. Um, I filmed a mini little fashion show in there I did for my vlog and basically went kind of full sparkle to show exactly what they have in store for the Christmas season coming up. And after the break, we're going to be chatting to Linda, our other vlogger, who's in to win the Oasis top prize. Anya, congratulations. That was fantastic. You look great. Yeah. How did you find it? Because I believe it was difficult. Oh, it really was. Like, they tested us 100%. They brought us first to the vinyl factory. Big, huge setup of all their new collection, um, spring and summer. Then they brought us over to their new store in Tottenham Court Road. Tree, like, you were filming everything. You didn't want to leave anything out, so brilliant. Just a great day. OK, well, well oh, done. Gosh. And we'll have a look at Linda's day in London after the break. So stay with us for that and all of this. Welcome back to Expose. Now, before the break, we showed you how me, myself and Oasis finalist Anya O'Neill fared in her final assignment. And now it's the turn of Linda. Here's a look at how Linda got on at the Oasis press day in London. Sometimes I wonder if I'll ever get it right. Earlier in the show, we followed Anya and Linda from their first vlog at 5 a.m. at Dublin Airport to London, where they wowed the judges with their camera skills at the Oasis press day. But this time, it was Linda's turn to show us why she feels she should win the grand prize. When people say they We made it. We're here in London, Oasis press day. What do you think? It is amazing. There's some fabulous pieces here today. Loads of floral prints and ruffles, real soft romantic pieces, just really stunning pieces. Now, of course, you're in amongst the wool. 
wolves, you know, you've got all the other journalists from the UK here and they've been very proactive and busy, but I've seen yeah. you guys zip around with the camera cam, cam and cameras. Yeah. You're doing a fantastic job. You're one of them. Oh, thanks a million. Yeah, we're trying to get as many shots as we can, videos. I'm trying to interview the designers and just really soak it all in. But with only two hours at the press day in Oxford Circus, time was of the essence to impress the judges. Well, it's, it's just interesting to see how they're interpret. like they're, they're kind of, again, taken out of their comfort zones because they're in the UK. They just jumped off a flight and they're straight into um, prepping, well, not even prepping, they're just straight into it. Today's not really about a competition, today's more about fun. Indeed it was, but we battled traffic to move on to our second location. So we're here at the Oasis Tottenham Court Road store. Very exciting, shame that it's raining, but you're not to worry, the girls are here. How are you? Good, so excited, dying to get inside now. Yeah, yeah dying to see the new store here, yeah. So there's a cafe, a nail bar, hair salon, so we're dying to get in and have a look. I've already done a recce for you, so come on in girls, let's go. I'll leave my past behind. So after some pampering and preening for Linda with some very festive nail art, she got back into her vlogging. But what was it about this collection that caught her eye? So again, switching from the spring, summer, back to autumn, winter, just boots, coats, um, winter woolies, all that kind of stuff. What are you so. giving your, your, your readers or your viewers? What are you showing them today? So today I'm showing them that it's not just a store, it's a whole feel, um, you know, with the cafe, the salon, everything that's here, it's just amazing. And it was time now to sit down and have a cuppa with Judge Miriam Flav. Now, let's talk about our vloggers because obviously, you know, we've brought them over here to London today. They're very excited, but they're actually doing really well. It's been very difficult for you to even assess them because they're both so good. They're both so, so good. Um, I thought before today I had a little bit of a, um, an idea of who my winner would be, but after today, I am really, really undecided. Um, they've both just been better than I thought they would be, um, and they're both showing very, very different skills. So they're both very relatable. I would follow them both on vlogging and um, Instagram and everything. Um, and, but I just think they both have two very different things to bring to the competition. Linda, congratulations to you. How did you find it? London was brilliant. Yeah. We got a sneak peek of what's going to be hitting away the stores next year. And we got to see the new concept store. So it was just a really amazing day. And there are some serious prizes uh, for our winner today. Jonathan Sultan from Canon is here to tell us more. Our table is full, Jonathan. This is amazing. Talk us through it. This is the ideal bloggers kit. So we'll start on the left with the 750D, the DSLR camera, which a variety of lenses, and that's really cool for creativity and high definition video and stills. Um, and then the power shot, G, the G7X on the right, and that is the compact camera. They're all loved by bloggers for the versatility, for the quality, and you know, for the for the blogger on the move. Basically. Wow, and they even get a laptop thrown in as well for good Absolutely. measure. Absolutely, from Oasis we have a Toshiba laptop. We have a trip to London as well to spend time with the Oasis digital marketing team as well. So an amazing prize. Wow. This will really get you started and really differentiate your blogs from, from all the others who, you know, bloggers who are still using smartphones. This is for quality. Way ahead of the game. Yeah. Jonathan, thank you so much. I'm getting butterflies. Are you? It's brilliant. I want the prizes. <laughs> we are going to be announcing our winner later on the show. But for now, let's head back to Peter, who has made himself at home in Alicia Dixon's hotel room. Peter. Well, after weeks of tasks, editing vlogs, and to top it all off, a trip to London for a sneak peek at Oasis Spring Summer Collection for 2016, we have our two finalists for the Me, Myself and Oasis social media competition. And I think me and Glenda are more nervous than I know. <laughs> Before we do announce our winner, we are, of course, still joined by our finalists. It's Anya Neil, and Linda Ryan. And we're also joined by Miriam Flahev and Ian Gavin from Oasis Orange. Miriam, it's been some journey, six weeks. How's it been for you? It's been really exciting. I've, it's been really different this competition competition to any other year but it's also been very very close it's been a very difficult decision for us to make we have an amazing wrap party tomorrow evening where we'd like to invite all our customers to come and meet the amazing winner yeah. um, who we'll announce soon and we'll also have Ashley Jane there as well from Made in Chelsea so fantastic. it'll be a fantastic opportunity for any aspiring vloggers to meet with her as Our well. runner-up gets a nice little prize as well though. Amazing yes because it was so close Canon have been so kind and they've given us another camera for the runner-up ah, as well which is amazing. Nice. Yes. Really wow. so and it has been tough to decide though hasn't it from all the entries Ian? Well I have the easy bit because I just sat behind <laughs> and let everybody else do it. So yeah, no, it, 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 look, Oasis have been are thrilled to have been and involved and it's been really exciting to watch the two mm. girls get to this stage. To, I mean, for us, they're both winners. Yeah. I know. So it is. I yeah, know. and girls, you know what? I followed you along the way. Well done to the two of you. You were my favourite from the start. <laughs> but what I really loved was the friendship between the two of you. So I hope it stays that way. Definitely. We were on this journey together and I think just the two of us sitting here, we're, we're going to be happy either way because we're both so happy for each other. So. Yeah.
Yeah. Oh, God, my mouth is dry, Glenda. I know. <laughs> All right, yeah. Um, right, this is the big moment. As I said, it's been a long six weeks for everyone involved, especially for Linda and Anya, and it's now time to reveal our winner of the Me, Myself and Oasis competition. And she is... It's Anya O'Neill! the two of you. Uh, we're going to leave you now with Rag and Bone Spring Summer Show, so we'll see you tomorrow. See you guys. Congrats,